Do you know why we were made at a very good point in our universe? I didn't know either until I learned this. So, we were born at a perfect time to disrupt our civilization and expand beyond our solar system. So there's two types of, of civilizations. One of them is called a loud civilization. Another one is called the quiet civilization. So a loud civilization expands its reach beyond its solar system and takes over the world. A characteristic is they harness huge amounts of energy, typically through a Dyson sphere, which is the sphere that surrounds a star, har harvests all of the energy. So near infinite energy really good travel to get from the light year to light year super fast. So going at almost light speed and other technological advances. A quiet civilization like ours, a human one, just stays on one planet, doesn't really do anything else. Other civilizations would never even know that we're here. We don't really leave a mark on on, on our universe. And especially in our solar system. So, it's like a tsunami. At the start of the universe, conditions aren't right. It's too hot, there's too much bad stuff in the air, and it doesn't let civilizations develop. They're not good at the start. And then in the middle, many civilizations, like ours, we have the sun. It takes in a billion years, we will have to leave because the sun will explode. So this is like the middle time, like a Goldilocks case. And then, in the end, there's going to be lots of red dwarf stars. And those are the best for civilizations to develop and grow. So the point is, if we don't develop and grow outside of our solar system, other civilizations will catch, catch up to us. And they're most likely already starting to do that. And I think all of them are real. We're not just making this up. There's probably a lot of aliens or aliens not even ours. I didn't know this. Thanks for watching. Bye!